This is SB6190 modem and I have power on and connect to the PC and this is in its original firmware and currently I also have the Udink NT connect to the eNMC. Currently the software shows uh, BWA is not available and the firmware is in original uh, stock. Now I'm going to power off router and connect to the USB. So let's start the software. And in the software selection, we select the uh, EMMC and I have created called Bitware VSDK. Uh, I also download the Bitware where is in here. If we go here, download, and I download this 1.0.5.4 is the one that I can find on the website, uh, on the, the internet. So let's extract these files. Extract to download Bitware, which is fine. So here we can select the folder to the download bit and we can select we see these files are here. So I also create a script and the first thing we need to do is just to make a backup. So Let's press one and you, you need to see the cast that is like this. Otherwise you should stop. So we see it's detect the MMC and then we can enter to make the backup. There are four options for this uh, script I created. And it's for 1661.90 and TM6102. First one is backup and second one is restore if you want to restore the original one. This is backup is read the entire flash back and restore is program the entire flash back uh, to, the, to the modem. So after read, the content here will be what's on the modem. By the way, I have created 1.28, which will support the fragmentation as we did for other uh, device early versions. And 1.27 uh, was not able to do this. So now we, we also use the temporary files to store the temporary data instead of uh, allocate big memory. So the usage of the Unink NT software now is use very little memory, but it will allocate the uh, data to the file. So this one was 128 megabyte data. It's on the temporary file. So after the read, it will, the script will ask you to save and let me call this, it gave the name of 000, I can call it uh, SB6190 backup and save. So the, the script, uh, the feature is fixed. So now we need to construct the bitware because the bitware, it has these, these files need to be put it into the, uh, each sectors. And this, this calls for, and it will ask you to first select the CM root square, 
cm root is this one so let's select and one more cm root the second one is selected qw root fs so or gw gw root fs and the third one is uh auto root fs or atom atom root fs so atom then boot kernel image, boot kernel image, and auto kernel image, or uh, atom code image. And once it's done, we we are finished. So this feature is allocate uh, load all those into certain partition. And now we need just need to program the bitware. So I select three, and then I click enter. So look at the data, it needs to be something like this. Cost status is zero, 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 and something. So now I hit enter and the program starts. So this process automatically program the bitware without go to Linux and using just USB JTAG software with the Unicam and T. Uh, there is LED here, it's, which is blinking, tells you Currently, is, is is data is going on? If something goes wrong and you cannot see the progress bar and LED stop blinking, then you probably need to unplug the USB and try it one more time. But this thing is quite easy. You know, you just execute the script and go. On. The programming speed sometimes get to like close to six hundred kilobytes per second. By the way, this uh, script is based on the original uh, Bitware script on the Linux. And un after understand the, the memory allocation, I create this configuration as well as create a script so we can do this easily on the Windows instead of uh, going to Linux with some uh, Linux command. Not all the people know how to mount this SD card properly. If you look at the command here is a program S program partition five and then partition six, then partition seven and partition eight. Now is twelve and then thirteen. Then thirteen. Then partition one, then should be partition two, I believe. Yeah, partition two. Then partition nine. And partition 10. Okay, that's finished. So now we can exit. And we can also unplug the USB. Now I'm going to power on the modem. You should see the LED start the power on. The boot up process for this modem uh, is quite slow, so be patient. You will see then the four LEDs start blinking. And eventually the PC get the IP uh, address, then we can see the bit where it's programmed. Now 
now for LED is blinking and I still need to wait So when you see this full LED flash, don't assume this is bad, it's it's working. Okay, now stop blinking and the LED shows up. Let's see if we got the IP address. Okay, we have the IP address now. Let's go to here and see the status. Okay, we see that the modem is up. Now type BW. Voila, we see Bitware is programmed. So the program Bitware is, is so easy now with the Unique NT. And be a little bit patient when boot up. Uh, the first time I see it is quite quite slow, but it's programmed and it's one point dot uh, one point zero point five point four. I couldn't find the latest, which is one point zero point five point nine. But if someone has it, uh, and memory uh, the script is not compatible, I can modify the script for you. But anyway, well, I don't know much about the the, the footbitware itself, but programming the bitware on the modem. Uh, it's quite easy. I'm going to make another video for the TM6102.